Hey, I'm Tony back with more drone pilot strategies. So you want to start your own real estate drone photography business, but you wonder if you can profitably make a go of it. Well, today we're about to go there. Coming up, I'm going to show you how you can launch your very own real estate drone photography venture for under a grand, under a thousand bucks. I did it. Many others have done it. And so can you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to today's Drone Business Strategy Series. Glad to have you on board. Today we're going to peer into the exciting world of real estate drone photography. Now, picture this. Stunning aerial shots that not only captivate, but also seal the deal for potential buyers. And the best part? You can start this business without breaking the bank. Right now, we're going to break down the essential steps to turn your passion for photography into a profitable enterprise. However, I must caution you that outcomes are going to vary depending on the area you opt to serve and the level of competition within that market. First, we begin by choosing a name and brand identity for our business. And your business name is the first and lasting impression for you and your brand. So, make it catchy, professional, and reflective of your niche. Take your time brainstorming and researching to ensure it's unique and memorable. Next, you must define the legal structure of your business. So, select the right legal structure, LLC, Maybe it's going to be an S-Corp, C-Corp, sole proprietorship, partnership, etc. And then you want to weigh the pros and cons. Now, to help fortify your approach and help ensure you're on the right legal trajectory, consulting a reputable legal professional may not be such a bad idea. Just watch your costs. Let's consider state and local business licensing requisites. Research and understand the complex world of state and local licensing requirements. Obtain necessary permits and licenses for operating a drone-based business. And be sure to register for an EIN, that's the Employer Identification Number. You can seamlessly apply for an EIN online through the IRS website. Now, this business startup step is essential for tax purposes, particularly if you plan to hire employees or collaborate with other businesses. First, you got to understand Part 107 certification. If you haven't done so already, you've got to obtain your FAA Part 107 remote pilot certificate just to legally operate a drone for commercial purposes here in the United States. Next, you'll need to prepare for the Part 107 exam. That means studying comprehensively using FAA materials, online courses, there's a slew of them, study guides, there's a slew of them. Also, dedicate time to understanding airspace regulations, weather conditions, emergency procedures, 
and aeronautical charts, which can be a challenge, but you can do it. Finally, you take and pass the Part 107 exam. So you schedule your exam at an FAA-approved testing center, successfully passing the exam with a score of 70% or higher earns you your Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate. For more Part 107 testing info, I have placed a link in the description below to help you identify an FAA-approved knowledge testing center nearest you. First, let's outline our drone and photography equipment. That means researching and selecting a drone that aligns with the specific needs of real estate photography. So you want to invest in a high-quality camera and essential accessories for producing striking aerial shots. Let's talk briefly about developing your skills. Observe other commercial dronists who know their stuff or perhaps enroll in a drone training program to enhance your piloting skills and refine your knowledge in aerial photography techniques. I got to tell you, continuous learning does ensure benchmark aerial services to real estate clients. Starting out, we must make smart, budget-friendly choices. Making cost-effective decisions for startup costs is prudent no matter what business you're in. For example, allocate a budget for essential components such as the drone itself, the Part 107 exam fee, legal filing, website hosting, business tools, marketing strategy, and utilize existing resources like your smartphone. Here's a list of budgetary investment costs. So we look at a DJI Mini 2 Fly More Combo refurbished unit, about 439 bucks. Part 107 exam fee, about 165. Business legal filing, maybe you're going to do an LLC, that's about 100 bucks. Website portfolio builder and hosting, about 23 dollars. Google Workspace, which would be like. Business Plus, that's like 18 bucks a month. Printed business cards, get about 500 of them, run you about $25, $30. And a smartphone, which you probably already have. That'll cost you nothing. All right, let's talk a little bit about branding. Building a strong brand presence is key to standing out in the real estate drone photography game. Start by defining your brand's personality and values. Are you sleek and professional or more laid back and friendly? Once you've got that down, it's time to spread the word. Utilize social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook to showcase your stunning aerial work. And don't forget about networking either. Attending real estate events in the local market and reaching out to local agents can help boost your visibility. And last but not least, invest in professional marketing materials like a polished website and eye-catching business cards to leave a lasting impression on potential clients. So here's your quick recap. We've covered laying the groundwork, navigating regulations, investing in equipment and skills, staying on budget, and the essentials of brand marketing. Remember, it's all about smart decisions, strategic planning, and making your brand shine. All right, here's your takeaway. Starting a real estate drone photography business under $1,000 is not just a dream, it's totally doable. With careful planning, savvy budgeting, and the passion for capturing those aerial perspectives, you'll be flying high in no time. So what are you waiting for? Let's make those real estate drone dreams a reality. That's a wrap for this drone pilot business strategy session, starting a real estate drone photography business for under a thousand dollars 
You'll find more information and important links in the description below. I hope you found today's insights valuable. And if you did, please do click the like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel for more practical drone pilot tips and strategies. I will continue to work hard to bring you the best of what I've got. Have questions or suggestions for future episodes of Drone Pilot Business Strategy Magazine? Well, do drop them in the comment section below. Until next time, clear skies and fun flying. I'm Tony Marino. Thanks for watching and keep on droning. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you'd like to hire us, you can get more information by visiting aerialnorthwest.com. Be smart, safe, and fly responsibly.